a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in exploring ETFs. Now we're going to look at some ETFs that are going to profit from the surge in the dollar with Nina Mishra, our ETF research director here at Zacks. King dollar, looks like, is going to be king for a while longer. Yeah, it has been one of the most important economic stories in the past few months. The surge has been incredible. Yeah. The dollar currently uh, is at its nine-year high against major currencies. Yep. And in fact, it has surged 13% against the euro mm -hmm. and almost 15% against the Japanese yen in the last six months itself. Yep. And the main reason uh, for the surge is the divergence in monetary policies. The U.S. economy has been growing, mm -hmm. doing well, but the other economies, developed economies, they have not been doing well. So their central banks are still introducing stimulus, uh, stimulus measures to prop up their economies. Whereas here in the U.S., the Fed has ended its QE and it's getting ready to raise interest rates maybe sometime later this year. On the other hand, uh, the ECB may launch its own QE, maybe in its meeting later this month. Yep. And the BOJ, the Bank of Japan, also continues to expand their stimulation, uh, stimulus measures. Mm -hmm. So because of this divergence in monetary policies, the dollar is rising. And uh, uh, also because of this uneven glo global growth, uh, investors are encouraged to invest more in safe heaven assets, yep. including the U.S. dollar treasury, U.S. Uh, treasuries and the U.S. dollar itself, which is also attracting capital flows to the U.S. All very uh, interesting. You've brought a chart that shows the value of the dollar versus other currencies. Yes, right? this is a chart. Uh, the, it shows the appreciation of the U.S. dollar against major currencies over the past one year, and it looks incredible. Yeah. And this uh, rise may continue for some time. Uh, because, as I mentioned, divergence in monetary policies and prospects for higher interest rates in the U.S. and better economic growth in the U.S. may continue to attract capital uh, flows into the U.S., whereas Europe and Japan and their currencies may continue to suffer. All right, okay. Let's take a look at these couple of ETFs that you want to uh, highlight for us here that actually fit into this category, PowerShares uh, ETF. They've got the dollar index bullish fund. Yes, uh, the ticker is UUP. Uh, it tracks the value of the U.S. dollar versus six uh, major developed market currencies, including the euro, the Japanese yen, the Canadian dollar, the British pound, mm -hmm. the Swedish krona, and the Swiss franc. A uh, bit expensive, charges an expense ratio of 80 basis points per year. It's up 12% in the past one year, and it's pretty popular. Um, has more than one billion in assets under management. It's a Zacks Rank 2 ETF. And Wisdom, Wisdom Tree Bloomberg has one out as well. Yeah, the, the ticker is USDU. Uh, it's relatively new, but it has already managed to attract about uh, 352 million in assets under management. It is more diversified because it tracks the value of the US dollar versus 10, 10 major currencies, which mm -hmm. includes some emerging market currencies as well. Uh, cheaper, charges an expense ratio of 50 basis points. It's up about 9% in the past one year. But there is a word of caution here. Yes, <laughs> currency ETFs are not buy and hold or buy and forget ETFs. Okay. It is because currencies are usually more volatile than stocks. And further, these ETFs, they use uh, financial instruments like futures to track the value of the currencies. So, so they are more volatile, they require closing, uh, closer um, monitoring, mm -hmm. and they should uh, ideally be used for shorter term trading or hedging, hedging purpose. Uh, so uh, you should have a one, two, three month scenario in mind and then monitor your position. You cannot buy these ETFs and forget about and them. And just put them in the drawer and forget. Yes, and they're also slightly more expensive than stock ETFs. So that also requires uh, a shorter hold holding period. All right, all points well taken. Do you own either of these two? I don't. All right, check out our ETF section on Zacks.com. If you're not there already watching this video, it's pretty simple to do. Just get on over to our homepage and access the ETF section using the Funds tab at the top of the homepage. With Nina, I'm Terry Ruffalo.